Well welcome back to the allotment. It is now the middle of January and we've just experienced the worst snows that we've had for 30 years. So we've ended up with uh, some damage on the allotment but we're going through the thaw now and we're back here today to be able to rescue one or two of our crops and just check on how the allotment is doing. Well we start off here in the fruit cage and this is the uh, where we've had the most damage from the snow. As you can see the uh, the roof is now completely uh, detached and uh, the weight of the snow on the netting actually warped the, um, the beams there and uh, we're going to have to put this right in the, um, the near future. Uh, it's also very damp the ground so we're actually thinking about uh, how we can drain the ground more effectively here. Well one of the crops that uh, we still have in the ground here are the red cabbages. The outer leaves have started to rot so we'll be picking those ones uh, to rescue what we can from them. But others, they're not actually too bad. We've got a couple here which uh, uh, haven't been affected by the, uh, by the snow or the, or the thaw. So we may well leave those uh, a few days yet. But these ones will go back and we'll be cooking them with them but also we'll be preserving them. Now one of the other crops that we uh, are wanting to check on today are these uh, sprouts and uh, it's a quite a successful crop that we've had from them. It's the first time that we've grown them. We were concerned that these were going to be rotting uh, because of the thaw. Actually they're not doing too badly so we'll pick some of them today uh, and leave the rest uh, to another day. Well here we are on bed four and uh, this is where we planted the celeria last year. Now we've had mixed results from this but as you can see some of it is still here uh, and it, a lot of it's still covered in snow. Now um, we're going to have a go at getting some of this out but not today because uh, the ground here is still pretty heavily frozen. This is uh, bed five. It was our potato patch last year but we also planted the raspberries which need to be uh, pruned now and we've got a few fruit trees here as well. Now uh, the potatoes were uh, finished uh, by August they all came out and what we've got on here now are the uh, winter cabbages. Uh, now they started very well but having just uh, seen them for the first time uh, since the thaw started then some of them have obviously been subject to uh, some kind of pest which have been start, starting to eat them. So we wait to see how we get on with them. Well the final crop we want to sort out today are the parsnips and uh, just before Christmas I picked some of them at the top end of bed one here. Uh, very successful and uh, we've got the rest of them still here. Uh, now they are <laughs> well camouflaged uh, but there are odd bits you can see here um, to help us identify where they are. So they're going to be coming out of the ground today. 